where it's time to meet the players. Ladies and gentlemen from England, please welcome the Wanderer, Wayne Chia! And now, from the Netherlands, would you please welcome Machine Gun Jermaine Watamina! <laughs> Wins already today for Rusty Jake Rodriguez, the teenage Austrian Ryan Joyce, who's been a revelation since starting out on the PDC Tour this year, and Brendan Dolan going through something of a resurgence. But so is this man, Wayne Jones, after a little spell on the Challenge Tour. He's back on the full tour and playing some fantastic stuff. But right now, as of this second, there are not many players in world darts in a vein of form as rich as that of the machine gun, Jermaine Watamena. Back-to-back semi-finals at the weekend. Some big, big averages, including 111 in one game. He should have made it through to the final at least once over the weekend. Missed five darts to do so. Bevins has got his spirit level out, and that shows that the board does need moving. There we go. Kirk Bevins, countdown Octo Champ, train spotter, Venga Boys enthusiast, and fully tooled up PDC referee. Chris Murphy, <laughs> alongside me, Dan Dawson, for this one. Jermaine Watamena playing the darts of his life. Is he not? He certainly is, and I know that most dart players say they don't care who they get in the next round, but I've got a feeling that waiting in the wing, Simon Whitlock might well be cheering on Wayne Jones here, <laughs> because that 111 average that you mentioned came against the Wizard in a 6-0 whitewash last Saturday and Watermena went on to beat the Australian ace 6-1 on the Sunday as well in the quarterfinals so Whitlock would be hoping to avoid another run into the machine gun here this weekend and we do know that Whitlock can get things stuck in his head about certain players Thank you, ladies and gentlemen we? first leg is Wayne to throw first game on yep, can't beat Webster's one of them and I'm not joking. <laughs> but let's not discount Wayne Jones from this match because last time he appeared 100. on the European Tour at the Dutch Darts Masters in Zwolle, he was outstanding in the first round when he beat Jamie Lewis 6 1. 96. Didn't quite find the ki same kind of stuff against Kim Hybrex in the second round. Well, he put it all down to just a change of flights, didn't he? Although now he's gone back to the old pear-shaped flight. He yeah. said, played oh. darts for 30 years using pear-shaped flights, changed them, and then he started and he went throwing 100 averages, and now he's gone back. 83. Yeah. And now it's gone pear-shaped again. <laughs> but yeah, what a man. is certainly in fine And but for an incredible 1-6-1 one -one checkout by Peter Wright in the semi-finals, he might well have had a, a title to his name, or at least a final. 78. Yeah, he is really put himself in the mix. 100. He's, he's one of the first names you think about now when you think about which players could win a title for the first time in their careers. Well, look, he's ranked 20th in the PDC Pro Tour order of merit now. He's in, in line for a, 85. a debut at the World Match Play next month. He's got a big shout of being seeded for these at some point this year. 
carries 100. on like he is. So that could be sooner rather than later. Certainly could. This in the same half of the draw as Michael Van Gerwen, but a different quarter. So Simon Whitlock awaits the winner. Daryl Gurney in this same little section of the draw. The world champion Rob Cross in this quarter as well. As Jermaine looks at the 18s and now the ball. Yes, on the first leg. Jermaine Watermeen. And comparatively, pedestrian pace for Jermaine Watermeen. That looks like he might have slowed down a touch, but he still doesn't hang around. Yeah, and the sublime Sick. start. Carrying on where he left off in Wigan. Jermaine Watermeen are bringing it to the big stage in Denmark. Expecting a big crowd here tomorrow and Sunday too. Sick. And he will be hoping to face off against a wizard for the third time in a week. 59. Will Cover, Mullen, Vincent Camphouse, and Michael Rosenauer in qualifying for this tournament. 81. Whitlock's got to be careful too. I mean, we'll speak more about Simon when he's actually playing tomorrow, mm. but he's the number 12 seed and slipping Seriously. down those seedings. The top 16 on the Pro Tour order of merit, but you can kind of take out Gary Anderson because. He's made it clear he's not entering European Tour events this year, at least. Uh, so, what a man, a kind of one of the chasers for the likes of Simon Whitlock. And of course, if Whitlock were to be beaten, 100. along with any of the other seeds tomorrow, then he wouldn't add any ranking money to either that or the, pro to, or the main order of merit, rather. Yeah, it is very, very competitive. We've got a number of players coming back into form after comparatively quiet spells. We've got Nine players to looking to when establish themselves, like Jermaine, in the upper echelons of the game. Sixty-four. Not you what he was after, but it's not the end of the world. One, two, two in leg one. On the ball, one two eight in leg two. One hundred and three. Not quite this when time. When you require fifty six. Double eighteen then. Gash on the second leg. Very oh, nicely Wager. done for a break straight the back. Lewis Wayne to throw first. Game on. Well, I will say the kind of glimmer of hope for Simon Whitlock if he does take on Jermaine Watermena rather than Wayne Jones tomorrow is that both of those matches, of course, came on the floor, and Whitlock is. Much more experience on the stage, and it's only the last couple of 36. European Tour events where Watermere has made it through to the final day. Yes, but that's a step 100. forward as well for Jermaine, isn't it? It's, you know, a lot of players you'll find they start putting together runs on the floor, and then they start putting it on the stages, and then they start putting it together on TV. And you feel that Jermaine is, is going through those steps and going through them at a rate of knots over the last couple of years. And largely down to the 96. fact that they get so many more opportunities to play on the stage. Thanks to this European Tour circuit, we've got 13 events this year. If you're getting through to final days as an unseeded player, 100. then that's 39 days on stage. Darts without TV events. Yeah. Mm. 98. Assuming you qualify for them all, I mean, that's tough in, in its own right. But Jermaine is a guy who is regularly qualifying for these and regularly winning games on the big stage now. And he'll be one of the unseeded players that a lot of the seeded players will be concerned about. So far. 89. When you're racing out 91. the blocks, Mr. Dart at the ball to double his lead but Wayne Jones seems to have weathered the storm however is there another one brewing 31 oh, and he needs one treble 18. and he's managed to get darts for the legs in the first two legs and he gets the treble yeah, and this time he pins Jermaine the double 122 well, taken out 118 first. taken out Game on. 128 wasn't very far away just what Jermaine is doing at the minute. Three breaks 41. at the start of this and a miserly score of 41 gives Wayne Jones hope of continuing that trend. 135. 
140. I think he has slowed down a touch. Not by much, you know, but I think he has. There's been a number of players who've suggested that Jermaine would benefit from just not rattling through visits as quickly as he does. 140. He might have just taken that on board. Maybe it's just he looks a bit more relaxed up there. Seems strange to have slowed down in the midst of 100. such a fine spell of form, doesn't it? And you do wonder sometimes how aware players are of whether they're, what they're doing, yeah, yeah, throwing at a faster pace or not. You see, I think one example is Raymond van Barneveld. You watch him over a long match. 55. He start much slower than he finishes. As he oh, gets seems to find going. his groove, doesn't he? Yeah. And perhaps that will happen here. 100. Watermena once again on a hundred something finish where he needs just one treble to get a dart and in each leg so far he's got that dart 131 this time he'll need to hit it he's going to get it again double top 80 doesn't hit when you Wayne Jones has 40. the chance to make it four breaks of throw on the spin it's a long way inside shake the head from the wanderer yeah, shot on the fourth leg. Very Wango. nicely rectified. Did well, look, to throw first. Game it's on. got a very simple pattern to it, this game. Jermaine Watamainet gets to a finish just over 100. He gets a dart for the leg, and if he takes it, fine. But if he doesn't, Wayne Jones steps in. That is exactly what's happened in every Did single it. leg so far. He's left himself 120, 122, 128, and 118. And he's had darts in every single instance 140. for the leg. He's taken two of the chances. But that's it. Really, to just forget everything before the end of the leg. Just give Waterman a one dart double, and then if he misses, Wayne Jones gets yeah. three. Ne yeah, there we go. And he's inevitably getting the job done, so... We already know what's going to happen. 81. It's just a question of whether Jermaine pins that double or not. We might get more chances in this leg. 140. Jones oh. needs to land a big one here. Yeah, he's got to fill it up. And he's not going to, so Jermaine got two visits from 140. 140. Jermaine, you require a little 40. bit bigger than the checkouts he's been leaving himself. 60. 52. Jermaine, you require 80. Hmm. Well, he was going tops, tops. 60. Well, th that's Andy, the downside, isn't you it? Incredible that he didn't move across the hockey there. The placement of those two darts dead centre and just tried to somehow loop it over the top, collided with them. Jones is going to get the chance. 93. Jermaine, you require 20. They didn't really threaten. Air shot this time. That could be of use. Now it could be tricky. Okay, shot on the fifth leg. Jermaine, what do you mean? Seems like it's Jermaine to throw first. Game on. Oh, just careered in between the first two darts and into the double ten. 60. These guys only averaging in the high 80s. It's not the highest standard, but it is a very close game. I mean, they've been right there with each other at the end of legs, and certainly Wayne Jones has got to improve his scoring. See, Wayne, improve your scoring, Wayne. That's what you need to do. Yeah, that's it. 180. Bit harsh telling a man who's landing all three darts in treble 20. to do it, man! Time to do it again. We could get excited then. All right, do it again, Wayne. Oh. 101. I made the point in the previous leg that that was a downfall of Jermaine Waterman and not moving across the hockey. As he looks to fill it up. 123. But I think you're going to make the point. It's also the downfall of throwing so fast, isn't it? Because he doesn't want to mm. break his rhythm. And yeah. the darts at double top in the previous leg showed it. <laughs> An example of why that can hinder him. Yeah. He just wants to stand and deliver to Main Watermaina. 98. And he's left himself another one of those checkouts. Just over a ton. 
One that he's missed a dart oh. for already. Is he going to get a chance? Because Jones wants double top for 160. Is on the stick leg. Oh, it is He's a beaut. Game on. 160 checkout for Wayne Jones. Six legs, every single one of them a break of throw. Leg that he started with a 180, finished with a 160. But it's the unusual City. situation where it's looking like whoever manages to hold their throw first is going to win the match. Well, it was a, a strange old game that we've just seen 140 between Schindler and Dolan where we had four consecutive holds and then it was breaks for almost every single leg Three after that nine. might be seeing the same in reverse in this game if they can just get their act together on their own throw and Wayne Jones is doing that right now 100 down to a finish after nine that's the old adage isn't it that a break's not a break unless it's followed up with a hold it is 77. This is not as good, is it? 161. Well, 161 with time on his side. He's going downstairs. Oh. Taking 93. out the 160. Thought he was going to take out the 161 in the following leg. What's next? 130. When you require 68. Well, hopefully, if you're a fan of Wayne Jones, it's a 68 checkout. With no drama at all. Okay, Sean, the seventh leg. Oh, Angel. Late leg like is Jermaine to throw first. Game on. We have a hold. It is Sixty. the Wanderer of Wolverhampton. Not in the old gold of Wolverhampton Wanderers this weekend. He's gone for the standard Wayne Jones. 99. Polo neck. Polo neck with a sticker on. 81. Yeah, it's strange that the year that Wolverhampton hit the heights and have a glorious campaign, Wayne Jones rejects the colours. Yeah. Just signed a Ballon d'Or nominated goalkeeper. You would have thought he'd be shouting it from the rooftops. Unassuming kind of guy is Wayne Jones. 140. So unassuming, in fact, I've done interviews with him where he's just referred to himself as a rubbish darts player. So there's always been a rubbish darts player. I am a rubbish darts player. He's quite pessimistic. He's not a rubbish darts player. Look at him. 140. 4 3 up on one of the informed men in this field. 140. When you require 122. Well, 122 was the opening finish of the game from Watamena. Wayne Jones looking to repeat the feats. 97. Jermaine Uguay, 80. Top stops again? Not this time. Once bitten. Oh, 40. <laughs> the same result, ridiculously. Uguay, Once bitten, bitten again. <laughs> Bad old saying. <laughs> Will Wayne Jones bite back? Okay, the he eight does, play. and he Wayne has the Jones. match. In the palm of I his hand. Wayne to throw first. And we started it off by talking about Simon Whitlock watching this, kind of cheering on Wayne Jones based on recent results. And he might well be a very happy man because Whitlock's record against Wayne Jones is very City. impressive. 13 2 in favour of the Wizard. Well, Wayne Jones averaging about 96 right now. 100. It's been pretty impressive from the veteran. Oh, it's just dropped a little bit with that visit of 60, but it's. Mid 90s average, that is competitive. And yes, all right, Whitlock may not want to a face. What a made up. He may yet do. Well, he might have. We, we, we're not sure. We're just yeah, we know. Simon may not even remember <laughs> what's, what's gone on over the last few days. He might, have to be, he might introduce himself to Jermaine if he plays him tomorrow. Now you see. Nineteen. Some excellent finishing from Wayne Jones. 50% on the doubles, including that superb 160 checkout. 140. What a main. It could have been 4-0 up in this game. But he kept leaving those finishes of around about 120 mark. And he couldn't keep producing them. Well, in the semi-final, it was a 1-6-1 from Peter Wright. That was the undoing of Jermaine Watermana.
He can't do what Wright did. And now he has to hope that Wayne Jones 64. can't take out 64. The stats say he hits with one of these two. Forty-eight. But the stats get it wrong in this instance. 104. 104 to stay alive. Need the treble now. Gets one. And yeah, gets the double. The there. Jermaine, what I mean? And just when it looked Jermaine to throw first. Like the machine gun's run. Was heading to a, an early end. He's in full flow. Well, his third ton plus checkout of the match. Jermaine Watamena goes to the well once more. 100. And dredges up a match saving checkout. And a monstrous leg to follow by Perfect Darts. But what a time to find the zone. He's in danger of managing to hold his throw for the first time in the match. I mean, he's taken him 55. five attempts if he does get over the line in this leg. And he's throwing faster, Dan. He's throwing faster than he was at the start of the match. 89. It might be a nice little tactic because Wayne Jones, who had a vice-like grip on the contest seemingly, might wander off stage Six. in about 90 Rangers seconds 92. wondering what on earth happened. <laughs> Yeah, the 11 legs. dart Watermina. leg from Jermaine Watamina, the machine gun, through. rattling Pink. through the penultimate leg. Can he keep it going in this decider? Fifty-nine. Wayne Jones might be a wise man to take the sting out of this a little, and I feel that he did a little bit there. One hundred. Oh, look at that. Everything in four, five or six visits to the board. Only a, a couple of legs taking six visits. Everything else in 15 darts or fewer. And Jermaine Watermaina is looking to continue that trend. And if he does get this done in 15 darts, it may well be enough for a spot in the second round to face Simon Whitlock once again. 140. Well, let's not forget that in that ninth leg, Wayne Jones missed two darts. To wrap up the tie. 131. Before Watermana hit this super surge and he's on one of those finishes again, those checkouts that have been the story of this match. The checkouts that if Watermana 100. takes it, he gets the leg, but if he doesn't, Wayne Jones clears up. Can he? 120. Wayne Jones three. clear up. Needs a treble. Finds it. 87. But a third match dart Rangers goes begging. Ten. And now Watermana to complete Here's the table Hammer. turning Jermaine comeback. Watermana. A fantastic turnaround by Jermaine Watermana on the brink of exiting, which would have been a shame for him considering the fine form that he's in, but he reels off three consecutive legs to book his place in the second round and he will take on Simon Whitlock tomorrow for the third time this week. Watermana goes through, we're back in a few moments with Richard North against Darius Labanowskis. But first, let's hear from that man talking to our man, Dan Dawson. Jermaine, congratulations. Congratulations. You must have thought at some moments in that game, I've lost it here. Wayne's, Wayne's going to take it. Yeah. Um, uh, I think we start with break, 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 and then he take it. And he missed two match shots, and I finished 104. And I think 11 darts finish after that. And the last leg was brilliant, both of us. I missed all dots, he missed one dot for the match. And one dot double five. Yeah, I'm happy with that. You are one of the four men in darts at the minute. Back-to-back -back semi-finals and so close to your first final at the weekend. Yeah, so close. I missed five dots against E.O. White and then 
it's with 12 on 80 against Peter Wright and he finished 161. Yeah, what we would say. Are you playing the best darts of your life at the minute or is it just that you're finally getting results? Um, both, I think so. Best of my uh, darts of my life and the best results now and hopefully in the next few months. And Simon Whitlock to come. You've played him a number of times lately and played very well against him. He know me as <laughs> last weekend. <laughs> He certainly does know you, and these lot do as well. The Machine Gun Jermaine Watamena. Congrats, Jermaine.